so in this question we are asked that if we are given a number then we have to toggle its particular kth bit and then we have to print the output so what does toggle means so let's say we are given a number a having value 26 and we are given some k equal to let's say 2 because we have to work on the bits so let's convert this 26 into binary so we can write a equal to 26 as 11010 so this is 26 in binary now we will consider this bit as first bit this as second bit third bit and so on now we found the output as if k equal to 2 that is second bit this is our second bit we want to toggle this toggle means if a particular bit is 1 and we toggle it that means we flip it then it should be 0 if a bit is 0 then after toggling it should be 1 so toggling means flipping a bit so in this way this one should be made 0 and because we are talking about toggling a particular kth bit not all the bits so all the rest bit should be copied as such copied as such this is copied and this is copied so these will be copied and this will be flipped now say for a equal to 26 k is 3 now this a is 11010 now k equal to 3 means this bit this bit should be flipped that means if it is 0 it should be made 1 and all the bits should be copied as such now this is our you can say if you convert into binary we can say this is 26 minus 2 that is 24 and what is this in decimal so this is 30 so if we are given a equal to 26 and k equal to 2 then after toggling we should get as 24 and 26 and k equal to 3 the output should be 30 after toggling the particular kth bit so let's see how we should approach these type of questions so the approach is we have to find some bit pattern let's name it as b then next is we have to find a bitwise operator or group of operators which we can apply so the b is actually this thing that is what bit pattern to be applied with a and another is what operation should i apply on a and b so that i get a desired output so i have to find this bit pattern b and the bitwise operator to apply now these are our bitwise operator and ors or bitwise complement left shift and right shift now see how we will get these answers if you see our kth bit of a it can be either 0 or it can be 1 like in this k equal to 2 our kth bit was 1 and here it was 0 and what we want we want this to toggle that is 0 should be made 1 and 1 should be made 0 now see what operator i can apply and what should i place here now we are actually talking about this place that at this place either i should place 0 or 1 the same way what should i put here 0 or 1 either i should place 0 or 1 at both the places and then we will see what should be placed at the remaining positions now let's say we are talking about b whether i should put here 0 or 1 it will depend on what operator i am applying so let's say i am taking you can say or operator that is bitwise or this is bitwise or this is not one this is actually uh, you can say bitwise or now see if i place here one one will or will give me our desired output zero and one or will give me one correct but or of one and one will not give me zero that is it will not give me the desired output that means one will not work now can i place zero here so if i place zero so bitwise or of zero and zero is not zero so again this or is failing that means this or will not work now let's see for another operator now we will take the zor operator now see will it work or not 
So k can be either 0 or 1 and I want the output as toggled toggle. Now the question is what should I place here 0 or 1 with JOR operator. Now as you know that in case of JOR operator if bits of A and B are different then we get 1 and bits of A and B if they are same then we get as 0. So in this way can you tell me what should I place here? Yes. I should place 1 here. So these both bits are different. So I will get 1. These both bits are same. I will get 0. That means JOR operator is working and in the bit pattern B at the kth position I should put 1. This means I should put here 1. Here 1. Now what about the rest positions? We are applying JOR operator. So Again with the same concept of JOR operator, if you see, I should place 0 here, 0 here and let's see finally is it working or not. See JOR of same bits is 0, JOR of same bit is 0, JOR of same bit is 0, 0, 0, different bits 1 and 0 are different so 1, 1. Likewise you can check for this, this will give us desired output. So we came to conclusion that we should apply bitwise JOR and the bit pattern B should be in such a way so that at the kth bit in the pattern B I should place 1 and all the rest bit should be 0. Now as you have seen my previous videos in which we have cleared or we have set a particular kth bit we have discussed how to generate B. Now we can generate B as follows. See here this 1 is actually moving left side according to the k. So what we can do is we can shift 1 to the left side depending on k. Now question is I should place here k or something else. So let's see this is our 1 0 0 0 0 I am representing 1 in 8 bits. Now how many times I should move this. So in this case k equal to 2 that is if I want 1 here then how many times I should push this one that means I want the output as 0 0 0 0 0 I want here 1 so I want this one to be here so for k equal to 2 I should shift this one only one time only one time now if k equal to 3 that means I want my one to be pushed here then for k equal to 3 how many times I should push this one you will say two times that means one and two times so that I get 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so that means I should shift this one not k times but k minus one time so this is our generalized b and this is the operator that I should apply so finally our output will be a jor b let's see how to code this into our C program. This is our program that I have written. We have input a number A and then we have scanned the K. Then we have prepared the pattern B that B equal to 1 left shift K minus 1 times and then we have printed the output as A is your B. So let's see is it working. So let's say input number A is 26, K is 2, we are toggling second bit and yes we are getting 24 as we said. So if you have any queries you can put down into comments. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.